that this first screen is really you know, more of an overall view for a principal. You know, we've really built the platform to be customizable based on the role, role the person in the advisory firm plays you know, with the technology, right? So it's going to be for a trader, you know, a principal, a planner. They're all going to have different types of views through the one Veo One platform, and this is just more of a you know global overlook of you know over oversight of their whole business, right? So it shows their assets and their management. It's actually pulling in the data from Orion here. You can also switch to the Veo view to see you know assets specifically at TD Ameritrade, or leverage Orion to see uh, the assets that are at TD Ameritrade and possibly away. So we built this really, you know, flexible, as I mentioned, to customize. So you can drag and drop all the widgets, you know, however you want to set up the platform. It's, it's completely customizable, you know, based on that role, you know, the person plays in the firm. Uh, we have some bookmarks here. As you can see, we have A for A here. You can click on that and jump right into uh, your platform, right? So advisors can set up their own bookmarks if they want to see. Uh, also, you know, assets of their management, different types of things like business intelligence. They can see, you know, how their clients are segmented. We're going to be building this out on our platform. So this is just a little bit of a taste of it where advisors can see, you know, a couple different types of views, right? They can see a, a chart or they can see a table view if they want to see table view of how their clients are segmented just to, to show advisors. You know, a lot of advisors may want to segment based on age groups, right, with everything going on with the next generation. And demographics, they can actually see you know how much of their business you know is boomers versus Gen X, Gen Y, etc. You know, again, we've integrated with all the different you know with in this situation, we're integrated with Orion, Redtail, and Money Guide Pro, as well as DocuSign and LaserF Anywhere. You know, this is actually pulling tasks in from Redtail. So if you want to see what you have to do today from from Redtail, you could also add a task right here to, to create a task uh, that you may need to do or, or assign to somebody in your office. You know, we've integrated the red tail calendar. Again, these are all drag and drop, so you know, we could pull this up here if we want. Advisors could really set up how they want. And it's pretty easy to add, add and edit modules. They can just come in here and select the different ones that they want to set up on their, their view. So we'll go ahead and just jump to the client center. The client center is really you know, where advisor get, advisors get that aggregate view of their, their client's business right, or their, one of their clients. So as we look at Alexander Hamilton here, you know, this gives them an overview of, you know, Alexander calls the advisory firm. You know, the advisor has everything at his fingertips, right? He can see, you know, how well they're tracking, you know, from a Money Guide Pro perspective to their financial plans. You know, they can see their performance down the bottom right from Orion. They can also see, you know, a list of all their accounts to show their accounts at TD Ameritrade. You click on the link here, it would show you know, accounts at Orion as well. It gives them a little bit of an asset allocation. Again, completely customizable, right? We're not, we're just you know, giving them a, a little bit from each of these platforms, you know, stuff that they would need at their fingertips to provide that great service to their clients. If they wanted to go deeper into Orion or Redtail, you know, they can do those types of things here, right? So you can jump into Orion. It brings you in context, right? So we're looking at Alexander Hamilton. So this brings you into Orion with that client, right? So you're not having to, you know, today the advisor gets that phone call. A lot of times they're looking the client up in Orion, looking the client up in Redtail, looking them up in Money Guide Pro, looking them up in Veo, and trying to, to get all those types of views. And we just made it really easy for advisors to have everything at their fingertips. You know, throughout the whole platform, we also have, you know, at the top of the screen here, we've integrated a new search capability. So you can really search for anything. Uh, we're leveraging Google Search Appliance. So you can really search for, you know, anything within our Veo platform. So if you want to look at, you know, John Smith, you can type in Smith. And based on, you know, what we're typing there, it's going to load the results based on that. So again, this right now, it's just integrated with Veo. We're planning to actually be able to look into the third-party system. So you know, if we had, you know, if we want to look this account up in Orion, you'll be able to, you know, pull Mike Smith up in Orion in the future as well. So it can actually go across multiple integrated solutions that are, you know, the integrated solutions that you have on the platform. You'll be able to look through those to, to you know, maybe pull it up in Orion or you want to see an article from Orion, et cetera. You know, you can pull that up directly from here as well. So we're, you know, really excited about the search capabilities. You know, the top here, so from any page you're on, you can see, you know, any alerts that you have coming from TD Ameritrade. You get a look into uh, your tasks, you know, things that you have to do. Always, you know, 
giving the advisors quick access to this information. Their calendar, which is being pulled from Redtail, their tasks are from Redtail. If they want to launch one of the vendors that they're integrated with, they can just come here and you know launch them in you know full screen view it, to do some other work in there, etc. So we'll jump to the, the the activity center. This is a page we actually got a lot of feedback from our advisor pan, our operations panel. You know, we're really the core users of our technology platform, and they really want to have some you know a workspace within the, the Bayo One platform to do things that you know they're doing. 90% of the time during the day. So you know, we integrated a couple of different views. They can come in and see all their alerts. Again, you can drag and drop into the bigger workspace. We have tasks up here. If they wanted to assign this to, you know, maybe say this was a cash came into the account, they need to rebalance it, they want to drop it to the trader, you know, they can just drag and drop that over into the tasks, you know, to facilitate that workflow directly with the CRM so the person can go in and take care of that. Um, you know, they would get a notification through Redtail, et cetera, to, to take care of that for the advisor. So, again, this is really, you know, an area we developed based on feedback from our, you know, from our operations panel, you know, to help them do their jobs more efficiently. So, a couple of things, other things we've, you know, we've integrated, you know, we want to have that, those key workflows just, to, again, allowing advisors just to make it as easy as possible to do business with TD Ameritrade. You know, we've integrated a lot of workflows. You know, some from the client center. If you wanted to open another account for this client, we'll go back to our friend Alexander Hamilton here. You know, there's an easy way to just you know open a new account for this client, right? So, you know, from here, it automatically pre-populates the paperwork. They can leverage e-signature with DocuSign to efficiently sign applications with TD Ameritrade. So again, this is back back to the client view here. You have all this demographic information at the top. This really, you know, if you think about it, you know, the advisor gets that phone call, they just plug in Andy Gluck here and, you know, they'd have everything they need to, you know, to most likely to talk to you about, right? So they'll be able to see their most recent notes, what they spoke to you about last time coming from their CRM, you know, all their account data coming fed from uh, Veo or Orion, how they're tracking to their financial plan, for, you know, and their performance as well. So, you know, really giving advisors the type of view that they want and you know, a lot of our advisors want to have all this consolidated together. So this really, you know, puts a face on our open access solution. We're really looking to leverage that foundation and success for the, the future of the Veo One platform. A big request from advisors, they want to see, you know, all the cash that came in and, you know, they can kick workflows off from there. So most likely if, you know, they got a ton of cash coming in, they may want to rebalance that into the client's portfolios and, you know, with the hooks into tools like iReval, they can easily just click that and rebalancing, re, you know, rebalance the, the account or uh, the multiple accounts as well. So again, we have the confidence meter, performance, uh, asset allocation, alerts, you know, out of the gate. So we're continuing to build the library out, you know, as we start working with additional vendors uh, on the platform. So again, you know, initial set, five vendors. We're looking to, uh, in the next month, add a, another five or six vendors. Right. And a few months after that, uh, you know, we'll probably be up to around 15 vendors integrated really have you know many of the, the top solutions that advisors are looking for on the platform. And Andy, just to, to add to that, you know, some of the things we're looking that we're building out, so as John mentioned, um, we're onboarding more vendors, so Black Diamonds, Salesforce, Morningstar, um, eMoney, we'll be working with Juncture here shortly. Um, so we're continuing to build that library out, but even more in-depth tools like all of your balances, positions, uh, transaction history, you know, all those things will be brought in uh, and for both clients and at your whole book of business level. Um, and then we're also working at the same time to solve some of those other workflows that John mentioned, you know, not just opening up new accounts and a client service, but trading and rebalance, excuse me, trading, rebalancing, allocating, um, billing your clients, moving money, you know, in and out of accounts for your clients, all those things are being built out on the platform. So when you say that the um, you mentioned a bunch of integrations, uh, but what's the time frame on those? I mean, you mentioned I don't know a half dozen firms. Yeah, so those those are being um, we're in the testing phase of those now, and we'll be releasing at the end of April. Oh, so you've got a batch coming at the so, end of April. That's right, and then after that time, and right. Morningstar. Yep. And Morningstar. Right. How about Portfolio Center? 
Not yet. And Advent. Uh, we're working with specifically on the Black Diamond side as they're focusing Black Diamonds um, for the RIA as the main offering. So we've been focused. We've been working with them specifically on on Black Diamond. Now, they do need APIs and, and those types of things. Where you know today some of that's not available with some of the other solutions, where where they would have an API for us to call. So we're looking at some alternatives to see you know how how we can satisfy the needs of those advisors leveraging. Uh, some of those other solutions. Yeah, we want to. I mean, we you know we can obviously track how how advisors are leveraging the platform and yeah. recommend different options. So if it's a trader, you know, and they're always doing certain things or they're jumping around, you know, we could recommend different types of views where you know, the, you know they can leverage those views to more efficiently get things done. You know, we've actually built this back end to be able to share information between all the vendors, right? So. If you know, for example, an address gets updated in Orion or somebody that's integrated in the Veo One platform, or you know, the advisor updates it on Veo, you know, they have the ability to push that data to all the other vendors, and the vendors can consume it and update it. So if the advisor wants to change an address for a few accounts, you know, they just need to do it in one place, and this actually you know will sync it between all the platforms they're leveraging. You know, things like householding when they add new accounts, you know, they're automatically going to get household you know, in all the different platforms. Because what you're saying is we want to be the the arbiter of all of that decision. And when you do that, you know, you, you're going to overwrite other data in the yeah, other system. You know, we're going to give the advisor the option on right. what's sort of their primary. So what, it, yeah, exactly right. So we can give the preference to say, okay, Redtail is the system of record for, you know, addresses yeah. or phone yeah. numbers. So right now we are we have a small number of users that we've kind of handpicked um, and have them on it. After that April release we're going to start opening up the doors to beta users um, that use you know the similar the, that first set of technologies, right? So you're a Veo user, you're Orion, yeah. Moneyguide Pro, Redtail, because yeah. that's where you can get the biggest bang for the buck. And we'll, we'll be turning that dial up and, and having more and more people over the summer after a late summer release is when we're going to start looking to you know open that door up more and more